So here's the uh, 86 560 SL, 130,000 some odd miles, and uh, fuel pressure regulator. Um, that's what we'll t mention today. So the fuel pressure regulator is right here. Here's the old one. See, it's it's got like four ports on it. Vacuum and uh, 130,000 miles. I wouldn't have expected it to wear out this quick, but it did. It's kind of a pain in the ass to swap out. Um, anywhere from uh, about 300 to 470 bucks. They're not cheap. It's just a rubber washer on the interior, not like a Solex carb with the uh, kind of a plastic diaphragm. This, or yeah, coffee filter diaphragm. This is like a rubber uh, diaphragm that just wears out. And uh, anyway, what I noticed was, right here I noticed uh, it was leaking fuel and steaming, not not a good thing to see. There's leaking fuel right about here, and steaming fuel. And uh, so immediately, I uh, had to check it out. I thought it could have been snow or moisture, but definitely not that. And uh, so anyway, it was kind of a, a son of a bitch swapping it out, but it's not that bad. Paying for it's the worst part. But, uh, if these go out in your car, it could be like my situation where it's uh, bleeding fuel and uh, vaporizing, or uh, the car just doesn't start. Just flat out don't start because it can't deliver the fuel to where it needs to go. Or um, uh, just it sends too much fuel or too little, starves the engine, or it tries to gag it. And uh, this uh, this be the, the correct one for the 107 series. Once you, once you pull yours out, you'll know which one you got, but um, get the Bosch, don't buy the junk. Get the made in Germany, the people will give a shit that charge you too much. Get that. And uh, needs paint job, but mechanically it runs great, a lot of fun. And, uh, and that's what it is. Uh, pressure fuel regulator. It kind of steps up the pressure to get the fuel to where it goes. It's really not that bad of a job. It's not that hard. Just a pain in the ass to get to it. And uh, that's about it. This car I drive every day. It's not a concourse car. You know, it's just a lot of fun. 5600 cc, 5.6 liter. It'll tow this truck. And uh, these are great cars. You can find them 107 series, the 560s, the 4, 450s, the 380s. Just buy them. They're great cars. Learn a little mechanics and do it yourself. Or get somebody you really trust. But uh, see, so you can see this guy had a really shitty paint job. So it gets a little bit warmer. I'll take the rest of that paint off and we'll paint it properly. Put in some epoxy black. And uh, it's, it's just a great car. The guy before me put uh, cheap uh, ceramic brake shoes on it so it squeaks, but you know, I'm just gonna let them wear out and then we'll, we'll swap them out for silent brakes. And uh, just a great car. So if your car doesn't start uh, or it's, uh, it just doesn't run right, that's a good chance it's your fuel pressure regulator. Um, run the sea breeze or sea foam through it, your system. Make sure you're running high octane fuels. Otherwise, uh, you know, you're just going to ruin the car. All right, gang, we'll see you on the next YouTube.